to flex those feet. So the toes to the sky, this keeps your thigh muscles working, okay? We're going to crawl forward, inhaling. And as you exhale, try to bring that chest closer to the mat. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Let's rock back and forth here from one side to the other, waking up the lower back. Nice, and then we're gonna walk it back nice and slowly. Okay. All right, we're gonna bend the left knee and bring the foot in. All right, so we're gonna stretch this, the obliques a little bit here. I want you to bring your right forearm towards the mat, and you're gonna lift that left arm up. So you're lifting, keep that left shoulder pulled back. So stretching out the obliques, lower back. If you're feeling pretty uh, flexible and bendy, you can bring that shoulder down and try to grab your foot. You don't have to. I do this for a living, so, you know, it's all good. And some days I can't do this, my back's acting, acting up. Good, inhale back up. Let's switch legs. Okay, sitting nice and tall. Again, keep that foot flexed. Bring that left forearm to the mat. Reach that right arm over. Good, inhale. If you're wondering where to look, you want to look up towards the sky if you can. But if that makes you dizzy, look wherever you want. If you want to make it a little deeper again, try to bring that shoulder down. Reach. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to inhale back up. Good. All right, let's bring our feet together. So we're going to go right into boat. There's no posing in GDP yoga, so we're just going to call it boat. So bring the hands back. So if you're not used to this, option A is you're going to keep your hands on the ground. Try to keep your knees as close as you can together. If you got this, try to straighten the legs out. If you got that, you're going to bring the arms out to the side, okay? This is a really good one for the abs. So we're going to place the palms towards the mat, and we're going to pulse for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. We're going to plant feet down, hands them out, and you're going to lift into reverse table. So squeeze those glutes. Inhaling and exhaling. So going from abs to glutes right away. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring the butt down toward the ground. And we're going to go back into our boat. So again, whichever one works for you. This time, though, we're going to bring our hands to your left. And again, if you just have to have one hand on the ground or both, that's fine. All right, we're going to count for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. To the other side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not down, spread the legs in between for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Woo. Hands and feet to the mat. Work those balloons. Squeeze. You guys are doing great. Breathe. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Bring the glutes back onto the mat. Straighten out the legs. Good job. So you do what you can. If you need to take a break, take a break. Nobody's judging anybody here. Trust us. All right, reach up, exhale, fold forward. This is your tiny little break here. Good, inhaling, and exhaling, good. All right, we are going to come to all fours here. So this is one of my favorite glute workouts here. Jane Fonda made this thing for real in the 80s. So your hands are on the mat. You can either bring, keep your hands flat or you can come to your forearms, whatever works for you guys, okay? You're going to bring your left foot up. Keep that left foot flexed. I'm going to drop that knee down towards the mat and then press it back up. You say one, down, up, two, good. Down, up, three, lower, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, Eight, down, up, nine, one more down, ten, hold it here, you're going to pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job, bring it down, the other side, so, you're going to bring that right 
So now keep that right knee bent, keep the foot flat. Deep breath, squeeze those abs. Drop the knee to the ground, press the left foot back up. One, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, one more, down, up, ten. Let's pose for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now you can go back into safety zone if that feels good or downward facing dog, which I prefer just because it gets those hamstrings stretched a little more. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Good. All right. Bring the knees to the mat. We're going to do that one more time. Because why wouldn't we? Okay. Or arms to the ground. Or hands to the mat. You guys got this. All right. Let's bring the left knee back up. Keep that foot flat. Flexed. And down. Up. One. Lower. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Lower. Four. Lower. Five. Lower. Six. Lower. Lower, eight, squeeze, lower, nine, lower, ten. All right, pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, last time on the right side. If you're not sore tomorrow, what do I always say? I didn't do my job. So, that's why we're doing this. All right. All right, ready? Lower, one. Lower, two, lower, three, lower, four, lower, five, lower, six, lower, seven, lower, eight, lower, nine, lower, <laughs> that was a hard good job. Let's pause for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Stretch it out. Safety zone or down dog. Nice job. Breathe, breathe. All right, so wherever you are, you're gonna move into a plank. They say planks are like the best workout for your core. So I hate them, but they really do help you out. They work everything here. So squeeze your thighs. We're gonna focus more on the side planks though. So we're gonna roll over to a right side plank. And you're going to hold this. Now again, modify if you need to place the knee on the ground. You can do that. If you need to go to your forearm and do it, do that. All right. Hold here. If you want to raise your leg up to make it more fun, you can do that too. Let's count it back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. We're going to roll to the other side right away. Again, find that base. You're stacking the shoulders, you're stacking the hips. Stack the ankles if you can. If you want to raise that leg, you can. Deep breath. Let's count it back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Come back to plank. Let's lower all in the mat. <sighs> all right. So we're going to come to Sphinx. So you want to keep your forearms on the mat. Palms flat. If you've ever seen the Sphinx in Egypt, it looks just like this. So lift the chest, and you're squeezing your glutes here. Good. Work that lower back. Inhale. And exhale. And good. Inhale. Exhale. So lower. Good. All right, we're going to stretch out our arms here. So working the lower back a little bit more. So you're going to lift your left arm, right leg. So it's the opposite. We're going to hold it here for three, two, one, and lower. Bring the other one up, right arm, left leg. Hold it here for three, two, one. Good. Switch. Three, two, two. Good. And right arm, left leg. Three, two, two. Again, left and right. Three, two, three. And the other side. Three, two, three. Got two more of these. Left arm up. Three, two, four. And the other side. Three, two, four. Last time. Three, two, five. And again. Three, two, five. Good job. 
All right, so for those of you, we're gonna bring the arms behind you. You're gonna lift the chest, squeeze the glutes, so you can lift the thighs off the ground. If you wanna interlace the hands, help play up a little bit more, you can do that. If you've got it and you wanna grab the feet, you can do that. I don't really have a good bow, just my back doesn't touch that way, but I try it. Deep breath. Excellent release, good job. All right, so here's a good way to counter that. You're gonna bend your knees, Actually, no, I'm sorry. Bend your right leg. Right arm's gonna come out to the side, and you're gonna push. Bring that right leg behind you. And you're gonna feel a nice little spinal twist. It's a nice little stretch. It does not look pretty. Just play with it. Good. And then we're gonna bring everything back down to the mat, or stomach on the mat. We're gonna switch sides. So, left arm comes out. Left knee bends. You're gonna press that left foot behind you. And stretch. Good. Stephanie, does that feel good? good? Yes. All right. Bring it back to the mat. Good job. So let's roll to your side so you can see me. So it doesn't matter what side. So this is one of my favorite Pilates things. Circles. It doesn't seem like you're going to be doing much, but you are with your legs. But the first thing is we're going to do some pulsing with the thighs. So keep your bottom leg bent. Keep that foot flexed because it helps to anchor you. Your top leg Straight out, squeeze the thigh, flex the feet. Turn the toes slightly towards the mat, okay? Good. We're gonna bring it down and up. You say one. Down, up, two, lower, three. Squeeze those legs, lower, four, lower, five, lower, six, lower, seven, lower, eight, lower, nine, lower, ten. Hold it here. Press the toes away. So here's the circles. With your big toe, you're gonna to draw a circle about the size of like a small beach ball. So you're gonna inhale down, exhale up. One, down, up. Two, two circle. Three, circle. Four, squeeze his thigh, circle. Five, Good, circle. Six, circle, squeeze his ass. Seven, last one, circle. Eight, eight but we gotta go reverse. So, almost the last one. Deep breath, and let's circle, reverse. One. Circle, two, circle, three, circle, four, circle, five, circle, six, circle, seven, one more, circle, eight, good job. Bend that knee, just grab your ankle. Ooh, my calf was cramping there. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, eat a banana, some potassium. All right, stretch that leg straight up, just to get a nice little stretch in here, good. So you're gonna bend that knee, plant the foot behind the bottom leg. Bottom leg's gonna extend out. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the abs, flex that foot. So you're gonna bring that leg up. You say one. Bring up to where the other knee is, okay? Up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, squeeze the leg, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Good, keep it up. Press the toes away, squeeze the thighs. We're gonna do the circles again. Deep breath, inhale down, exhale up. One, circle, two, circle, three, circle, four, circle, five, circle, six, you got a circle, seven, circle, eight, oh, that was it, okay. Reverse, deep breath, and the other side direction. One, circle, two, circle, three, circle, Got the circle, Six. circle, Seven. last one, circle. Eight. Good job. Bend that knee, plant that foot on your other knee. This is a good stretch, trust me on this one. You're gonna lift up then. So you plant the left foot on your right knee and lift up. You feel a nice stretch in those hips. And I know some of you guys are looking like, what am I doing circles for? This is weird. I promise you, gentlemen, you're gonna feel this tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. You want to grab some water? You can do it. You know, Joseph Pilates created Pilates. A man created Pilates. Man, a man created yoga. So, I love it. All right. But women made it better. All right. <laughs> All right. So, bottom leg. Keep that bottom knee bent. Flex the foot. All right. Deep breath. Top leg straight. Squeeze the thighs. Foot is flexed. Down, up, one, lower, two, lower, three, lower, four, 
Lower. Lower. Six. Lower. 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 Last one. Lower. Ten. Good. Hold it up. Squeeze up thigh. Press the toes away. We got our little beach balls for driving. All right. Inhale down. Exhale up. One. Lower. Two. Circle. 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 Reverse direction. Circle. 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 Good job. Nice job. Bend the knee. Grab that foot. I, some of you guys are feeling it. It's good. All right, let's stretch out that leg. So just nice little hamstring stretch here. And then we're going to bend that knee, plant that foot behind the other leg. Straighten out that bottom leg. Flex that foot. Squeeze those bottom thighs. Squeeze those abs. All right, we're going to raise it up and down. Ready? Ready. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Toes away now. We're going to draw those circles with a big toe. Deep breath. Circle. One. Circle. Two. Circle. Three. Circle. Four. Circle. Five. Circle. Six. Circle. Seven. Circle. Eight. All right. Reverse direction. Circle. One. Circle. Two. Circle. Three. Circle. Four. Circle. Five. Circle. Six. <laughs> Circle. Last one, circle. Good job. Bend that knee, plant that right foot on your left knee, and lift up for that nice stretch. Good. Ah, you guys are doing great. All right, relax. We're going to lay on our backs now, and we're not having a nap, but we are going to do some abs. So, if you have lower back issues, which 80% of America does, um, you want to place your hands underneath your lower back. Kind of make a diamond cutter sign, you know? I need your lower back here. All right, you're going to lift the chest if you want. You don't have to lift the chest. You can keep your back flat on the ground. Your choice. You're going to bring your legs straight out. Flex the feet. Breathe. Does that mean? Hold on. Fix it. All right, hold it here. And we're going to crisscross our legs, all right? So crisscross one, two, three. Squeeze the thighs. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, we're going to 20, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, relax. Woo, good job. Roll those ankles on the ground. Good. All right. Diamond pattern underneath the glutes. Protect that lower back. We're gonna lift the legs up. This time, press the toes away. And we're just gonna flutter kick here. So, let's flutter kick. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, Max. All right, break right from here. Keep those knees bent. You're going to lift into bridge. Set to bondo for you yogis. Now, we're going to hold this. Squeeze your glutes. Press hips to the sky. Breathe. Breathe. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. I try to do this. Usually four times a week, I'll try to hold it for like five minutes. Doesn't always work, but you break it up. Like I started out doing a minute hold, and then you make it two minutes. And just do what you can, but it's really good for your glutes and your core. So holding it here, let's count it back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Flat on the ground. Let's come into cannonball here. And wiggle your hips back and forth. Kind of massage that lower back into the mat. Good. All right, feet back on the ground. 
All right, so hands are out to your sides here, okay? So we're gonna work some obliques. So we're gonna bend the knees, bring your feet off the ground. So if you can keep your knees together, feet are flexed, squeeze this out. We're gonna do windshield wipers, okay? But you can keep your knees together if you want. If you wanna make it harder, straighten the legs out. But think of your legs being glued together. Don't let those knees open up if you can help it. Arms out to the side, palms flat to anchor you. All right, deep breath, I'm gonna drop the legs to the left. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. You say one. Up and over. Up, no, not yet, here's two, two, there you go. All right, down to the left. Coming back up to the right, you say three. Up to the left, up to the right, four. Good, up to the left, up to the right, five. You can do this, five more. To the left, I know, do the best you can. To the right, six. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Left, up, right, seven. Good, left. Kick it out, deep for the day. 